very high fashion luncheon in Beverly Hills. And when I was introduced as a game show host, this well coiffed lady next to me says, oh, what, what game show do you do? And I said, well, I'm currently doing the nighttime Price is Right in syndication. She says, oh, I can't watch that show. I said, oh, I'm sorry. Why not? She said, I don't know from retail. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to tell you that your answer, not your answer, your clue was, oh, you cannot give fr friends. Hello there. <laughs> In the uh, course of working for a few years in the game show business, it came down to a rather simple formula. All you needed was a good format, uh, some content, and a good MC. And of course, it didn't hurt if you had a good time slot. Yeah, I do want to say, though, know, uh, <laughs> before I start, that um, I want to thank Bob for telling that great story across here. <laughs> Steve Beverly for uh, for that uh, wonderful video and the amazing thing that you've done. Uh, I was thinking wrong about one thing. I have to go. <laughs> I'm kind of bringing back all of the names and all of the shows and all of the audiences and the people that you talk to. Uh, and when we go out on remotes, where you have 3,000 people in the audience. And they say, Johnny, I've listened to you. My goodness, you did a thing with Burt Parks. I did a thing with Burt Parks called Yours for a Song. But it's amazing how people do remember me. Or sometimes even in a supermarket, if I'm checking out and I'm talking to somebody, will behind me say, you know, your voice sounds familiar. Are you the announcer on Jeopardy? I mean, that shocks me, ladies and gentlemen. It really absolutely shocks me that a voice could be heard and recognized by so many people. Career Achievement Award. I'm going to hand this award to you, Mrs. Bill Cullen. I want you, then, to present this to Mrs. Betty White Ludden. And I'm going to ask you to do me a favor, and I'm serious about this. As you give her the award, hold the pose while they do they take the pictures. Please, this is, I'm very serious. This is our opportunity to capture the moment, the moment they'll never see again. And it'll be our opportunity to thank you both for being here to make this happen. Present it if you will. All right, get your cameras going. Hey, stay right there. For following my fellow, when he couldn't do it anymore, you came in and you kept all the class going. Thank you. stage, he'd always he'd come out, and as he walked out, he'd always say, hi, doll. And everybody thought he was talking to me, because they knew we were kind of, you know, we were having at each other. <laughs> <laughs> but he wasn't. He was saying it to my mother, because the first time I did the show, I told him that both on GE College Bowl and on Password, every time he'd come on screen, my mom would say, hi, doll. So he started saying it, and for all those years, he'd come out, he'd say, hi, now. They were very good friends. And we had a wonderful time together. I wasted a whole year, Alan and I could have been married, saying, no, I won't marry you, I won't move to New York. I should have had my head exam. But he was a pretty good salesman. <laughs> Thank you so very, very much. You go all the way to Cold War Canada.